How's it going guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are back at it sturgeon fishing, but today we are fishing the Snake River. So this, this stretch right here is all catch and release. But it's all right, because today we're just after river monsters. We're just after those big, big oversized fish that'll, that'll put up a good fight. So it's roughly about 7.30. We had a, we came a little late because we had a, uh, wait for the dam to uh, to open before we could cross over so it's a little later than we usually like but it's all right we're gonna fish here for the day <coughs> excuse me it's uh, me my brother my cousin and uh, one of our buddies they are fishing over on the other side I'm gonna fish here I've always had good luck here so I'm gonna fish here for a few hours and uh, if nothing bites then I head over there and uh, fish with them but <coughs> Yep, I'm just gonna get my stuff set up. Today I am using my Columbia Premier. It's a 13 foot rod with my, my uh, Shimano Torium. So we're just gonna get set up and uh, we'll chuck it out there and uh, hopefully something bites. You know, here, usually when they bite, they're usually oversized, which is, which is awesome because they put up a great fight. So <clears throat> we're gonna get set up and uh, we're gonna get fishing. So I'm going to show you guys how I rig up my setup. <clears throat> I usually have a, this is very old school, it's how I was taught and I was just always, always kind of stuck to it. So I have a, a 80 pound braid tied to my hook, it's attached to a swivel, and then from the other end I also have another piece of 80 pound braid. And then I'll just cut my line through here. I don't, I don't like to tie any fancy knots or anything. I just do the very basic, very simple stuff. Just twist it around a couple times. It's kind of windy, so sorry if the audio is bad. My uh, mic is hooked up to my DSLR, so and I didn't bring the uh, the mount for my my video camera, so audio might be bad. But apologies ahead. So just do this, pull through. I like to make it a little wet so it doesn't like mess up the line or anything when I pull on it. Got my scissors. And with these fish, usually they're, if they're big enough, they'll, they'll stretch your line a lot. So I like to leave a little bit of line like that just so if they do pull it. It'll, uh, it won't pull through, so. Have that, and then I'll just tie a, oh, excuse me. Cut a piece of line here, I'm using a cheap 25 pound line for my, for my weight. My main line is 40 pounds. Usually I like to use 25 pounds, but they had a good, good deal on the uh, 40 pound uh, line so bought those instead today the currents pretty fast so I'm hoping that the 8 ounce weight will will actually stay instead of uh, getting pushed all the way down the river so See how that goes, but tie this up real quick. Uh, and I'm using this uh, eight ounce weight right here. You need a big weight and you need a big rod to uh, to fish from the bank because you got to be able to chuck it out there pretty far. 
So we're chucking them about roughly 80 to over 100 yards out there. So. This and then I'll just attach the uh, Oh dang, a sturgeon just jumped right there. Dude, that was tight. I saw a whole fish. It was like a... If it was open, that would have been like a keeper size. Awesome. So yep, yeah, that's how my line, my setup is. A lot of people use sliders nowadays, but I just never cared for it. Just more, more crap to tie on. So this and cut my bait up real quick we are using uh, fish we're using crappie we uh, we caught them last night from a local lake and uh, threw them in the fridge and brought them out here so I'm gonna get that cut up and tie them on real quick All right, so what you guys just saw me do was uh, once I threw my rod out there, uh, I tied a string to my, my pole. Here the current's very fast, and the way my, uh, oh, the way the, like, the rocks here are, it's kind of hard to, to get your, uh, your rod holder at an angle where your pole's not so slanted forward. Because with like, the way my rod's sitting, it, uh, at that angle, if a fish was to hit it hard enough and just run down river, Without tying that string or that rope, my fishing pole could just bounce and just basically shoot out. And we've seen it happen. We've seen people lose fishing poles like that. So when we know that there's a lot of big fish in here, we, we always tie that, that safety rope just for uh, just extra safety precaution. No, it doesn't hurt, you know. And uh, yeah, so that, that's what I did. There's I've seen two surgeons jump already. So. Hopefully they bite. They're jumping more a little upstream of where my my line is, but with this current, it wasn't my uh, my weight was just bouncing all the way down. So I had to let some line out and let it drift down river a little bit. But it's all right. It just tells us that the fish are in the area. So hopefully we'll catch something. Hopefully, hopefully I catch something because there's only one me here, and there's three guys over there. So it's the odds are odds are against me but I've always had good luck with this spot and I just feel like today's gonna be a good day so hopefully we get some good action and yeah hopefully we catch some oversized so you guys can see how fun and how exciting and how much of a work it is to pull in one of those big fish in this fast current so we'll see how it goes man what is going on it's been almost three hours I've got no hit, nothing. Fish are jumping all around me. I've seen like six surgeons that have surfaced. But the other guys are doing good. I think they're on fish number four. So they're having a good time over there. But it's a little slow for me. It's all right. I'm just going to keep at it. Hoping to, hoping to catch a big one. I think this is the first bigger one, I would assume. My, uh, my cousin landed two, looked like two smaller ones, and then our buddy landed two. They both, I mean, both of, all those three seem like they landed them pretty quick, but this guy, my brother, has been fighting for a while, so it might be a big one, but who knows? I'm gonna give this spot another hour, maybe fish here till noon, and uh, if it doesn't bite, then I'll switch over there, but it's just, it seems so promising when there's fish jumping everywhere. They're just not hitting one fishing pole, you know? One bait, and uh, it is what it is. It's fishing. You know, you can't always, can't always ask for them to bite every single time, but it's all right. Give it another hour here, and I'll go join them because I'm getting hungry, and all my food's over there in my brother's truck, so. See you guys in a bit. Oh, that way. 
I think the trick is every time I fix my bait, we get a bite. <laughs> See? So maybe I just gotta fix my bait the whole time. Yeah. 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 He just came yeah. off. Yeah, he just, I think it's snap. I think it's snap. Yeah. Look how easy it's coming back. Yeah. yeah. Dang it. That was big though. That was huge. Yeah. Yeah, at least I got him jumping. <laughs> All right, so I just had a hooked on a fish with my brother's rod, my first one today, and I had him on for about maybe two minutes, if even, and he just kept on running, 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 and just snapped my line. So he jumped twice. I don't know. If I think my cousin got it on footage, but it was a pretty big fish, so so it, it's all right. But it was fun. It gave it gave a good fight. It ran hard, and it just I tried stopping it, tried turning him, it wasn't working. So he snapped the line. We're just gonna keep fishing. We got a few more hours, and hopefully I'll be able to land one today. So we'll see how it goes. Fish on, guys. Fish on. <laughs> Gotta land them. You said it is autofocus, right? It should be. Okay. Ninth or tenth fish, I don't know.
Yeah, he's big. This is Daniel's first, this is day and it's the one that counts. This guy's, dude, this guy's huge. This guy's big. Yeah. Don't worry, Daniel can take this fish all by himself. He spawned bigger fish by himself. Yeah, I'm trying to turn it right now. I got a bit because my rod was the only one in the river. <laughs> Yeah, if I was some old, I wouldn't be sitting right there. It's all good, bro. I gotta do it for the video. Thank, thank you for later. It's all good. I'm raw. For me, that's why I like, I don't hang on it like this. I always have one foot like this, and then, then I hang on it. Cause that way, if it breaks, yeah, you break. Yeah, you're still okay. Turn around. Yeah, she might go right into that little ledge. Oh, it's okay. Me, you know, I've been talking. Yeah, she's done. She's just going back and forth. You just gotta play her out. <laughs> no mercy. Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah. yeah, there you go. Yeah. You popped up yeah. with it. Yeah. 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 Decent. Yeah, decent, huh? This is a cat foot. Yeah. Okay. Wow. It's going back. It's going back this way. Uh, yeah. Not that bad. Around that, uh, that pulse right there. Yeah, I think you're fine right there. He's fighting big though. Yeah. He fight like he knew it. Yeah, it's getting pretty tired, man. 
<laughs> it's not a joke. No, it is seriously. I mean, look at mine. I was like tired. And mine was just like... It's not even 50. Yeah. Well, the other one might have been 50. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That one. Yeah, that thing's probably 50. That thing's probably 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. Those are like the keepers you want. Oh, he's right there. Okay, so the yeah. video actually stopped. It stopped. Yeah, but I, I recorded that, uh, again. Yeah. We can do that. There it is. Oh, leave it. Turn. Everybody needs a picture with this guy. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, damn, 74, dude. Yeah. 74. Yeah. Dude, that's the biggest one today. There you go, dude. Woo. Thanks, man. Yeah. Oh, sweet. All right, I just landed my first fish of the day. It's been all day. It's been super one. slow for me, but I think it's been the biggest one according to all the guys. Yeah. Okay. So, awesome, bro. I'll show you guys real quick. Yeah, that's it. get my good foot. Let me get my camera. All right, ready? One, two, three. I'm just kind of clicking. I can't really see. Yeah, it's not One, two, two, three. One, two, three. Take a side shot. They're more like. Beast, man. Oh, yeah. right. Monster. Heck yeah. Alright guys, thank you guys for watching that. That is gonna be the end of the first episode. I'm just gonna cut it off here. We have a lot of footage and I didn't wanna cram all day into one footage because there was we had so much action and I just feel that it's better to just make them their own episodes and just so the videos are so long and so it doesn't take forever to upload. So yeah, thank you guys for watching that. Uh, my cousin Samong should be uploading his videos as well, so feel free to check that out. I'll link his page at the end of the uh, at the end of the video. So check that out. Check his perspective of uh, uh, our trip for that day, and uh, I should have the next episode uh, uploaded within the next few days so feel free to check back then again thank you guys for watching if you haven't subscribe and uh, hit that thumbs up button if you like what you see and uh, we will see you in the next episode